So if you've seen my last video, you know that I was pretty upset about the up map that I got from uh, Moto Million. They didn't send the cable with it. I made this video and uh, I do, do want to let you guys know that that video is now gone. And the reason why that is is because I'm not a huge fan of drama, even though it got me a ton of views. People love drama. But anyway, um, the point of that video was really to just get Manny's attention from Moto Million because it was like numerous times to where I was having problems with uh, stuff that I purchased from them. And um, like I said in that video, I really like Manny. I like his uh, work ethic. I like what he's done for the community. And... Um, really a, a, a fan of the bike builds and uh like most of us and oh, i wonder if that's my uh my tommy john underwear i've been waiting for for a couple of days now we're probably gonna say a couple couple weeks we're not mad at tommy john's well here here's the thing um this is a small business and you know it's very rare that a business is going to uh respond back so in any case i got Nanny's attention he wrote me an email. He sent the cable out right away. I didn't, I'm not going to sit here and say that the customer service is great now because it has not been, and that's not going to change, but I think it's going to. I think that, um, and I do know they moved into this new warehouse, and it's bigger, and all this. They've got a lot going on, right? So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, and uh, I took the video down. I talked to them, and uh, basically in so many words, I really appreciate that you... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, have taken the time to respond to me. Um, and, you know, he's actually always reached out to me, so I really do appreciate that as somebody who's not like Jared Campisi or 650 Eve, who I've, I've looked up to those guys for years watching. It's the whole reason why I have a Pentagon. I mean, not really from Jared, but uh, 650 Eve, I've watched for a long time, just like all those, all those guys who have been around. And I'm just a super small channel. Uh, well, I'm getting bigger, but... And so... I think that the impact that that video could have made on his business is is pretty bad. I don't and, and I don't want to be that guy. So that video is gone, uh, and I, I just uh, I think that mission accomplished. Right, I got his attention. He reached out, and I, I think they will make some changes. Uh, hopefully, to their customer service is number one. It's got to be number one. So um, I just like to give you guys my honest experiences. So in any case. Um, <clears throat> Let's unbox the Van Diemen again. Talk about that a little bit uh, now that that's all out of the way. And like I said to Manny, like, uh, and honest in this email, I'm not a millionaire. I work really, really hard. I worked very, 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 very hard to get this motorcycle, and it's expensive. This this bike is now starting to turn into like a thirty-five thousand dollar bike when all this, when everything I have done is finished. And I like I wasn't reaching out. I didn't make that email so he could like give me free stuff or send me stuff or like anything like that. I, I, I made that video so he would understand that the money that comes into his company isn't from Jarrett Campisi, isn't from 650 Eve, it's from us. And so, you know, um, I know they got things they got to do for customer service when when packaged, especially something like this. This is five hundred dollars, right? So this is not cheap. And it's non-returnable, returnable. So you can't just uh, return this. You know, you screw the bike up or whatever. It, so this is big, big deal stuff. So in any case, that's all out of the way. So thank you, Manny. Uh, I know you watched the video. I know you probably got you pretty upset because you really do take that seriously, as I would with a business. He's not like Walmart. You know what I mean? Um, it's a small business. It's him running it. It's. Uh, and I don't want no bad blood or anything with any of those guys. I just wanted to bring the attention to what was going on. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see if some changes are going to be made. I'm going to probably order uh, my ther my uh, carbon fiber from there. He's the only one that I could find that has the one I want. So um, in any case, let's go ahead and talk about the Van Damon. So first of all, I got the UpMap T800. This is a Turgen Yomi. Up map, uh, it's the safest one I could find. Honestly, the Bren tuning one, I've been hearing super, really bad things about the Bren tune one, that it blows your bike up. I don't buy it, but uh, it was a little bit out of my price range with everything that I have to do, because I still have to have, uh, I still, <laughs> always a, U uh, an, uh, a UPS truck going by when I start filming. Uh, so anyway, I have to have another 1200 for the installation. I'm not putting this exhaust in myself. And the reason why that is is because in order to get this rear 
header off of the rear cylinder, you need to take the subframe off. Now, you don't really have to do that, but it makes it a lot easier. So like the subframe, the gas tank should come off. Uh, all the fairings gotta come off. Uh, you gotta loosen the, the fan, maybe even take it off completely and drain the fluid and all that stuff. It's a big job. So I got Ducati of Austin doing it. It's scheduled to go in the 28th. If it can't get finished for MotoGP weekend, like the 28th rolls in and uh, this is like such a tight schedule now. And I'm not gonna blame that on the cable because I already had it scheduled. Um, I was thinking about doing it myself. That's why I started to get upset about the cable. But now I've made up my mind that since I the cable's not gonna be here till Saturday, there's just, I'm not gonna even try to tear this thing apart. I know I'm not doubting my skills in doing that, but this is a really, really big, serious job and I want it done by the, the best. And Ducati of Austin, the mechanic there, is really good. Their service has improved dramatically. Uh, they used to be talked about, you know, even since I moved here, people have been like, oh, never, never, never go there, you know, and now they're, they're really turning a stone. So shout out to Ducati of Austin. I love those guys over there taking care of me. So um, yeah, they're gonna do the install. The rough estimate is $1,200, so that's where I, I'm expecting it to be like more like $1,900 to be honest with you, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and take out the first cool piece, which is the uh, carbon fiber type. This is, by the way, this Van Diemen exhaust is two, two, uh, about $3,000, right? As, as compared to a, and why Manny at Moto Million isn't selling this is beyond me. I have no idea. He must have a deal with Akrapovich or something, but honestly, dude, Manny, eh, I would really strongly suggest you buy like 30 of these and put them in your stock because they're that freaking sick. And this, this exhaust, is way better than the uh, Akrapovich because of the price. It's still really expensive, but the Akrapovich system is $6,000. And then you're looking at probably another 2,000 to get it put on. So now you're at $8,000 for an exhaust, you know? And uh, it's full titanium, but still $8,000, are you kidding me? That's, you're just paying for the name. That's all it is, you know, so. And Akrapovich for the Panigale V2, as far as I know, doesn't have a wheel barrel exhaust, which means two under the tail. They have the one here, which everyone has, so I wanted to just make the bike super unique. In any case, look at the welds going on here. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. These are TIG welds. Uh, that's all gonna blow up nicely. Um, uh, Ducati of Austin knows that not to start the bike until I get there. Um, when they install the bike, I want it wiped down with W. This is super important to me. And they're like, yeah, come on down. We'll, when you're ready to start it, we'll, we'll, we'll do whatever you want to do. So this is really important that this happens in exactly this format. They, I cannot have the bike started until it's absolutely spotless with WD-40. Then we're going to soak it in WD-40 start the motorcycle up. Now, everyone will say, oh, this is an old school trick that, you know, hasn't been brought to light by guys like 650, Manny, Jarrett, uh, DDE. No, 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 no. I've been doing that since I was like 16 years old before it was even freaking YouTube. So, the titanium with WD-40 is, is the way to make it blue. It's how you make it blue quickly. It, it, it uh, dissipates the heat differently than steel. So in any case, this pipe is going to replace this guy down here. And uh, this one, if you look, like you could just, you're gonna see, see where the curve is right here? So you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna see all that blued up, like these welds. I mean, I can't even tell you. Let me get behind the camera so I can make sure you guys are actually seeing how ridiculously beautiful these welds are. Look at that craftsmanship. So that's a titanium pipe, all right? And that's gonna be replacing, you know, that's gonna be here. And look at, I mean, the weight savings too, by the way, this exhaust, the stock factory exhaust on this motorcycle is like 30 something pounds. Uh, this is probably like maybe 10, I'm gonna guess, or 12. It's really, really light. The heaviest piece is the big canister, the, the uh, Euro compliant nonsense they have down here. So all that's gonna be gone, this is gonna be gone. Uh, this pipe is beautiful. That's where your sensors are going to go. 
and I really was so excited to put the, if it was a slip on, sure, but nah, you can't put a slip on on this bike. You have to go big or go home with a Penagali. So here's our silencers, which we will not be putting in for obvious reasons. We want this thing to be as loud as we possibly can because that's what we do as bikers. Loud shit saves lives. I don't know if that's true, but whatever. So this guy, this is, oh, I don't know what this pipe, this is gonna go, so this is all you're getting that's down here. So instead of all this nonsense down here, can you guys even see? Oh yeah. All this crap here is getting replaced by this. <laughs> that's it. This big giant thing, is where, this is all you get now. Boom. And look at the welds on this. You can't sit there and tell me that that's not gonna look ridiculous under there, all blued up and just, oh my goodness, look at the welds. Now this, so this is what you wanna look at when you're, look at this. That is somebody who knows how to use a welder. And though it isn't perfect, it's, it shows that a human being did this. This isn't some laser robot welder like I work on on Tesla, which if you guys don't know, I work at Tesla. I'm a robotics mechanic. Um, I work on robots. And um, yeah, I just filled out my application for Cybertruck, which will be all of it. And uh, that's, that's crazy that this is just the craftsmanship of this is insane. And so I filled out my application for Cybertruck line. We'll see if I get the job. Um, things are going really well at work. I'm really excited for our cyber truck as oh, is everyone else. It's gonna literally change the world. I don't think people understand how how much this thing is gonna impact our our world, the world we live in. Cars will never be the same. Uh, you know, you look at pickup trucks now, and they're just like regular trucks they've been for the last 20 years. But when you have cyber truck floating around, it's just gonna be insane. But so this pipe, I don't know where this one goes yet. I want to say this guy goes under here like there's something. I don't know. I hope you can see this one. I think this one's going to go here. Man, I don't, I'm not really sure where this cat's going, but look at the freaking welds on this thing. Good Lord, guys. Can you imagine once that thing heats up what it's going to look like? Not to mention what it's going to sound like. So you see that blue? That's what the whole exhaust is going to look like. And the reason why you need to clean this with WD-40 is see all my greasy hands all over it? That's gonna, as soon as you start the bike up, it's gonna, and you don't clean it, your fingerprints will stain it. Look at this thing. That is insane work. Really, really nice. And, what else we got? Everything else is pretty much whatever. So let's pull out the tips. So these are the dual tips. Here's the bracket. So the, the bracket's gonna go where this is. So this this is loose, one of the screws fell out. So this guy is, go, is gonna go down here and the these attach to this, right? So it's more or less, this whole thing is gonna be gone. This guy is gonna be like somewhere like here, I guess. Something like that. So, like right around there, I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you, how it goes or yeah, but Oh, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Something like that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really nasty looking. Look at, I love this, uh, the screen back here. That is so cool. So people can't throw stuff in your exhaust. You know what I mean? Like, that is so sick. <laughs> Look at this thing, dudes. Manny, if you're watching this, man, you really, really need to get these in your store. It's, I don't, I just can't imagine why you don't have these. There's got to be a good reason, right? So the craftsmanship of these guys, see the blue around the tip? These are probably be the only things that aren't going to change besides here blew up. I don't think this is going to blow up, but we'll see. Uh, and then so both of them, two of them. Good Lord, guys, that's going to look insane. It's gonna look insane. My God. Look at that. Could you imagine being behind this thing? <laughs> it's gonna be so freaking loud. 
So I'm excited. We waited a long time to get the exhaust since I've had the bike. And making videos with this, everybody's been like, why don't you have an exhaust? How do you go this long without exhaust? This thing is, we're looking at like almost five grand right here. And you know, five compared to eight, I mean, where am I getting five grand? So three, 3,000 for the exhaust, 500 for this, maybe about 2,000, yeah. I mean, it's like a little over $5,000 in the exhaust. So now we're pushing this bike to be about $35,000, $32,000 of motorcycle. You know, 22,000 out the door, $5,000 exhaust, uh, just the pro tie bolts. Like I already put the license plate ones on, I'll show you guys. These are the pro tie bolts. I got one on so far, or I'm sorry, the license plate ones on. Look at them. Look at those things. Just for those four, $100. They're $25 a piece and I'm doing every single nut and bolt. So it's a lot of money, all this stuff. The Louis Moto seat cover is absolutely beautiful. I hate these tank grips, but I can't find anything I like. WRS windscreen, domino grips, and everything, like I've been saying for a while now, everything that's carbon fiber on this, or I'm sorry, everything that's black is gonna be carbon. And that's it. That's pretty much it. It's gonna be done for the bike. It, there's really not much else I'm gonna do to it. Uh, besides probably wheels. And if I do wheels, they're gonna stay red because I think that's the, it's the only way to go. Like if you change the color of the wheels, you ruin the bike. They, they have to be red. Like Jarek Jar Campisi's Pentagali V2 was perfect until they touched the wheels with the different color wheels. It looks so stupid. But um, the red wheels are just, it makes it, it makes it. So yeah, that's, that's my plan for that. Um, by the way, that BMW that they built was absolutely insane. The, the uh, all carbon BMW, that thing is probably the nicest bike I've ever seen. But yeah, I can't wait to get all the carbon. The heel guards are already carbon fiber. Those are from CNC, the CNC rear sets. These are uh, really nice rear sets. That needs to be clear coated. If the bike was glossy, I would put um, flat carbon. But since the bike's flat, it gets gloss carbon. So those gotta get clear coated. I'm not gonna get that done before GP weekend. Gonna look pretty stupid with this. I'm actually gonna try. I'm gonna try. I might even be able to get different ones that are gloss. But uh, over on this side, I don't know, did I make a video on this yet? I think I've been trying to, moto vlog. But these are, this is in GP shift now. So, it's incredible. It's just like, it's just a mechanical adjustment. So, instead of the, the pull rod going back, it goes forward. So, uh, it switches to reverse. So, it's one up, five down, instead of one down, five up. And, yeah, so that's... You can see, just look at how difficult it is to get to that rear cylinder head. And the front cylinder, because it's a V-twin, it's all the way in there. It's insane. I do need to get a battery, too. I'm trying to get that. I got to look around for one of those. I uh, need to get a battery. Lightweight battery. Uh, now, we're going to start doing... Oh, well, we'll start doing the brakes and stuff. Uh, and the Clutch Master, the RCS-17s. Start doing all that, but... Yeah, this thing's gonna be a freaking monster when that exhaust is on here. It's gonna be so loud too, especially under this uh, little awning thing. It's just gonna be rowdy. You're definitely gonna hear this bike coming. So and then uh, I guess after all that's said and done, we'll start doing like chain, different chain sprockets set up, all those little things. I wanna get a carbon fiber kickstand all this is gonna be gone when the exhaust gets put on. So it'll just be that crazy looking pipe under there. Um, yeah, these CNC rear sets are insane. I put this uh, zip ties on there so it doesn't ruin my boots. That's a little hack for you guys. I really like this grippy one, but it was tearing my boots apart. It tore my brand new Alpine Stars up. So I ended up putting the zip ties and that worked out well because it didn't tear up my boot. Hello. Uh, so anyway, I think that's about it. 
like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you need any gear, guys, you know, Raven Moto. Oh, where's the logo? Here it is. These riding pants are sick. You can get a discount, 10% off. Use the code HARDCITY, all caps. And I got you all hooked up there. But, yeah, guys, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And, Manny, thank you for reaching out. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys at GP Weekend. Peace.